Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make better than Olive Garden chicken alfredo. All you'll need is about a pound of chicken cut into cubes, olive oil, black pepper, garlic salt, regular salt, mushrooms, cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, and you would actually need linguinis, but I don't have them, so I'm going to substitute them for these. The first thing you'll want to do is take your olive oil and grease your pan like this and put it on a medium heat. And you'll want to take your chicken and put it in. And at the same time, you could put in your mushroom. Once the chicken starts to kind of start cooking, you'll want to start seasoning it. Um, you can put some pepper, add some garlic, salt, and some regular salt, just a little because you have regular and garlic. And now you can give it a mix. You'll want to mix them around, but the chicken will get stuck to the bottom of the pan. So just kind of give it a mix and then just leave it. Now we're going to start the sauce. You want to put it on like between medium and low because you don't want to burn it. You're going to take your whole heavy whipping cream and put it in here. And then you're going to need about five ounces of cream cheese. And the way that you can see how many ounces, there's a little thing right there. Just do right there in the middle, five. You'll take your five ounces of cream cheese and put it in. And then you're also going to take some of the garlic salt and put it in here. Once you put that in there, you can kind of just start mixing it. But the uh, cream cheese, once it gets warm, will be easier to break down. So right now it's kind of difficult. So let it get warm. And then you can kind of just whisk it up. You don't want to leave this on without mixing it though because it's going to um, burn. So definitely don't leave your heavy whipping cream ah, unattended because it will burn and it will stink and it will not taste right. So make sure not to leave this too long. But I think now we're about ready to start the noodles. I'm going to put the entire packet of noodles in there. And then I take another spoon and I just give it another mix. Okay, and that's going to be good. And then go back to your... Add about a um, teaspoon of salt to it as well and you could really kind of do this by oh no you could do this by um, by taste so if it's not thick enough or um, if it's not salty enough you can always add more salt and you can always add more cream cheese if you want it a little more thick so those two things and then also with the heavy whipping cream if you let it sit without um, heat, it will also get a little bit thicker. So, but just if you have it on heat, keep mixing it or it will burn. You don't want it to burn. So it looks pretty good, but I'm going to add a little more cream cheese because I like mine a little more thick. Um, some people like it a little more runny. So I'm going to add a little more cream cheese. Uh, I guess you could um, start with 
start with the way I did it and then taste it and see if you like it that way or if you want a little more. And then um, you can kind of just go from there because I kind of taught myself this recipe so I don't really know exactly the measurements. But I usually just kind of do it and then taste it and see if it's missing anything. And if it is missing anything, I'll add a little extra. But actually, it tastes really good now. So I don't know if I should make it thicker or not. Maybe I'll just leave it. Leave it off the heat and see how thick it gets. Okay, now let's check on our chicken. It looks pretty good. And give it a nice mix. It looks beautiful. Starting to smell really good. But the main thing is to perfect the sauce in this dish. Because anybody could buy Alfredo sauce at the store, but it's not going to taste the same. So it's looking beautiful. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, let the mushrooms cook, but the um, chicken looks great. I think it's pretty much all done, and I'll, I'll keep it on the heat just in case the inside isn't all the way cooked. But let's just keep it on a low to medium for that and get back to the noodles and give it a mix and get back to our sauce. Now for the salad, I just started with a regular salad that you can buy at the store. And then, just to spice it up a little, I cut up some cucumbers and um, tomatoes so it wouldn't be so bland. And I'm going to mix it up. Now, I just add some ranch and mix it. I mean, it's really nothing different than what you guys make salad, so I don't know if I should even add this part, but that's pretty much it. Now all we do now is we mix it all together. And now for the moment of truth. Is it good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yummy? Yeah. It's yummy.